Finally, U.S. Air Force test its new Super A-10 Warthog. The Air Force A-10 replacement strategy could involve building a new plane, adjusting an existing aircraft, or merely upgrading the A-10 itself. The A-10 was designed around the General Electric GAU 8-Avenger 30mm cannon and its seven barrels, which are able to dish out devastating punishment to armor. Over the years, the Warthog's 11 hardpoints have evolved from carrying dumb iron bombs and rockets to hauling the latest guided ordnance. The A-10 Warthog ground attack jet, already in the process of receiving new wings, is also set for a series of improvements including new weapons, cockpit upgrades, and helmet-mounted controls. The Air Force is beginning to work on how fast, lethal, durable, and capable a new A-10-like aircraft would need to be in order to provide U.S. military ground troops with effective close air support for decades to come. Senior service officials are now exploring draft requirements concepts and evaluating the kind of avionics, engineering, weapons, armor, and technical redundancy the aircraft would need, Air Force officials told Scout Warrior. Many of the core technical attributes and combat advantages of the A-10 will be preserved and expanded upon with the new effort, officials said. Following an announcement earlier this year from Pentagon leaders that the A-10 will not begin retiring but rather will serve until at least 2022, Air Force and duty officials are now hoping to keep a close air support aircraft for many years beyond the previously projected timeframe. Given the emerging global threat environment, it would make sense that the Air Force would seek to preserve an aircraft such as the A-10. While the aircraft has been extremely successful attacking ISIS targets, such as fuel convoys and other assets, the A-10 is also the kind of plane that can carry and deliver a wide-ranging arsenal of bombs to include larger laser-guided and precision weapons. Air Force officials have told Scout Warrior that the current approach involves a three-pronged effort. The Air Force may consider simply upgrading the existing fleet of A-10s in a substantial way in order to extend its service life, acquire an off-the-shelf existing aircraft, or develop a new close air support platform through a developmental effort. We are developing that draft requirements document. We are staffing it around the Air Force now. When it's ready, then we will compare that to what we have available, compare it to keeping the A-10, compare it to what it would take to replace it with another airplane, and we will work through that process," LT Gen James Holmes, Deputy Chief of Staff for Strategic Plans and Requirements, told reporters several months ago. Holmes went on to explain that the service was, broadly speaking, exploring ways to achieve, preserve and sustain air superiority and potential long-term, high-end combat engagements. He added that considerations about a close air support replacement aircraft figured prominently in the strategic calculus surrounding these issues. As a result, the Air Force will be looking for the optimal type of close air support platform by weighing various considerations, such as what the differences might be between existing aircraft and future developmental platforms. Cost and affordability will also be a very large part of the equation when it comes to making determinations about an A-10 replacement, Holmes explained.
The question is exactly where is the sweet spot, as we talked about between what's available now and what the optimum CS replacement would be. We are working along that continuum to see exactly what the requirement is that we can afford and the numbers that we need to be able to do the mission," Holmes added. Several industry platforms, such as Raytheon's TX Plane and the A29 Embraer EMB Super Tucano aircraft, are among options being looked at as things which could potentially be configured for a close air support plane. Air Force leaders had previously said that the emerging multi-role F-35 would be able to pick up the close air support mission. With its sensor technology, 25mm gun, and maneuverability, there is little question about whether the F-35 could succeed with these kinds of missions. At the same time, there is also consensus that the A-10 provides an extremely unique set of battlefield attributes which need to be preserved for decades. Jeep Hog 1 and 2 are going to send down to 15,000, head back towards our area for uh, the... range. Thanks a lot for the work, we'll uh, catch you next trip.